Hello and welcome back to my channel for my seventh fitness bucket list item, Trailer F1 car driver. The focus on the one dot. Now this is literally number one on my list. I actually opened up my iPhone and saw this article by GQ, How Daniel Ricardo Trains and Eats. So we're gonna do this today. We're gonna show their intense training, intense diet. They actually lose so much weight and it's very weight restrictive sport. Unhealthy, we'll talk about that in the video. First, Daniel Ricardo wakes up early and has a morning stretch to loosen the muscles and stiffness before breakfast. Please ignore my voice. You're probably like Kelty. You sound funny. Do you have some issues? Uh, do you have COVID? <laughs> Definitely don't have COVID. I went to Vegas. Um, but yeah, insert clips of me yelling to Tiesto and Zed and Loud Luxury for 72 hours straight. Daniel Ricardo's breakfast. He quote unquote eats clean, so I'm worried that COVID affected him a little too much and he's eating Clorox, but haha, <laughs> bad joke. We're gonna do his game day, get him ready for a race, oatmeal and avocados. For everyone, I'm so sorry. I have to say this every single video. You're probably so annoyed if you watch my videos. I'm definitely allergic to avocado. So I decided, you know what, let's get some fancy healthy fats. Look what I did for you all. Look at this. This is pumpkin, oatmeal, coconut oil, some fancy things. These nuts. <laughs> and whipped cream um, on top because pure aesthetics. This is my breakfast. Sorry, Daniel, mine's better than yours. This is so good. Oh my God. Mm. Also, this video is not exactly the video I want to be doing. It's number... <laughs> this, this table is really not secure. <laughs> Anyways, my goal is to actually train, like go be in the car because I have no access to F1 car, but then we're all about manifest. Oh. Well, no, we're not. This, I've never talked about it once on my channel, but I want to manifest, visualize this challenge. So I'm putting this out there, hoping that someone sees it and is like, let's let Kelty drive an F1 car. They under the same impression as I am, or I was, they just drive cars. Do they even work out? Well, it turns out they're athletes. They work out insane, especially their neck. So let's go do some neck training. Daniel's trainer actually posted his workout, so we're gonna attempt it. The basis of almost all F1 drivers are their neck, core, and some upper body and leg stability because they're getting pushed with like, I think it's like 75 kilograms of force at most, like on your neck. So they're constantly training neck because they have to keep their neck straight as something, someone's just gonna push up. And the other one is also like this, so they have to have core stability, strong arms, so we're gonna do some of their training. This just rotate like they're sitting and wait. So you, you might have seen this. This is the main thing of their training is protecting their neck. <laughs> I have never trained anything neck. Oh my. I don't think I'm doing this right. It doesn't feel natural. Now we're gonna do Danielle's circuit that his trainer did, which is five moves, 10 reps each, two minute break in between, just one after the other. You do it five times. Cardio. So cardio is another really big thing, but there's no consistency I found with F1 car drivers with cardio. Some did swimming, some was biking, some was rower, and it makes sense because they don't actually need 
any specific cardio in the sense of being able to run. It's more for heart and cardiovascular because their heart rates are getting up to like 170 beats per minute. So I think the premise for them is like they just have to do cardio they semi enjoy or are more likely to do. Uh, so today we're just gonna go running because I have no reason. It's just the easiest one to think of. <laughs> Workout done. Now, he wouldn't be working out on race day. You would normally be relaxing for the entire time, just like keeping your mental and physical self like rested until maybe a bit before and start warming up, getting endorphins going. But for the sake of the video, I did the workout in it. We're gonna do what Daniel Ricardo has for lunch. Now, his lunches, he just says, are very basic rice, chicken, vegetables. And there's a method to that madness. They want something that doesn't upset their stomach. And this breaks my heart, but he said no hot sauce. The last thing you want is being in a car for an hour, however long they are speeding, and you have digestive issues. <laughs> so we're going to make chicken, rice, and vegetables, but with a twist. Okay, while well, the rice is making, who can guess? I saw this on TikTok, and yes, he said no hot sauce, but I'm not actually in a race. So I thought well, we're gonna make a little TikTok trend, if you guys have seen this. And we're gonna try that like sriracha mayo, best sauce on the face of the planet. We're gonna try this right now. Okay, so the girl who did this on TikTok, it was salmon, sounds bomb, but, and also I just got like the chips, so this might not work perfectly. We use chicken, and then we have some Brussels sprouts, carrots, because like fall roasted veggies. Okay, let's give this a go. Oh my god. If you have not tried this, go now. And that's all you get from this video. <laughs> I need to stop making TikTok references, but eat your vegetables! Can we also take a moment? I might not be able to drive an F1 car today, but this outfit, do I not look like I'm going to race a race car? Like, McLaren, hit me up. So before I get to my race, which we'll talk about after, reaction drills. So one warm up they do is insert clips of them doing all like reacting to the fancy lights and all those really expensive reaction uh, equipment they have, but I don't have that. That's why I said I'm putting this, I'm manifesting so I can do this all one day and hopefully someone out there in the internet, hi, <laughs> sees this. But we're gonna do just an old school reaction drill of dropping two balls and I have to catch. I'm so good at this. This wasn't that hard. So hyping myself up. We got the Spotify playlist on. It is race day. I said I can't have F1 car. We're going to manifest it. But through the power of editing, Nick, you can make me look really badass, right? Oh, yeah. Real yeah. badass. Three, two, Turn one. Turn one, Ricardo and Vettel getting very close together. Ricardo leads from Vettel, from Hamilton, from Raikkonen, and Bottas. And Ocon just staying ahead of Fernando Alonso. Through Beau Rivage we go. <laughs> Amazing. I don't know how you did that, Daniel. Incredible. Big race, one popping champagne. And now media. Now the paparazzi are everywhere asking me so many questions. And then what? The first thing, they have water. Because let's see down in the comments, try and guess how much weight they lose every race. Lewis Hamilton was quoted saying this. Is it A, 6 kilograms, B, 10 kilograms, or C, 14 kilograms. 10 kilograms, if you answered properly, which is how much? It's 20, 23? 23 pounds? That's insane. They would be drinking a lot of water, and then Daniel Ricardo's trainer brings him a shake. PB&J smoothie. So post race, they have to do media. I never even thought about this. Media for like one to two hours after. And they're so depleted. 
they have no time for a meal. So yeah, usually the trainer would just bring a calorie bomb shake, then they have the hydration, and then that's it for two hours or so after race, and then for a proper meal. Something I found interesting that I didn't realize about F1 drivers is it's how much of a weight-based sport it more so was than now. I think of things like MMA, boxing, where there's specific weight requirements, but then I also think of things like running and gymnastics, where it's very, your weight depends on your performance, because of course, if you weigh more, it's gonna be harder to run. They had to be super restrictive, and I don't wanna say like it created eating disorders, but just a little research, like these guys had to be, especially the really tall ones, they had to be lighter, just to, for performance in the car. They were restricting themselves so much, which I'm so happy to hear that in 2019, they made an implement that you have to be like 176 pounds or you in the seat. I, I don't know specifics, we'll put it here. But it's just nice seeing sports are going in the direction. I feel it's a very modern thing for females and males. There's certain sports that you'll always kind of have to have a weight requirement. Also not having people, a really tall man, have to stay below 150 pounds. That's shouldn't be a thing so i'm just glad to see those things and i had no idea and so that's why also their diet was probably super restrictive calorie counting and now they can have a bit more fun so in the gq article daniel said he has a proper meal after which <laughs> that is so ambiguous but i just thought to myself what's the most like basic classic post race day game meal and to me that's pasta and a caesar salad caesar salad that's a basic salad i love a caesar salad and so we got a pesto, sun-dried tomato, ravioli with this free-run chicken. I'm so happy with this. And so I'm gonna sit and enjoy and take a moment away from the media to relax after my heavy race day. <laughs> so after being in Vegas, I craved structure. <laughs> and you know what? I honestly love doing these videos, like the training like an athlete, especially being a former athlete, I don't really have that in my life. So I don't need to have super structured every day. Like I said, I was in Vegas all weekend. I've been traveling for three months, uh, for three weeks straight pretty much, but it was nice to just have a very workout at this time, eat at this time. So the main reason for doing this is first, I miss Drive to Survive. And second, I'm manifesting that one day I bring you guys the video that I actually drove like an F1 car driver. So if you could give this a thumbs up and if you're new here, uh, hit subscribe and that may be someone, this will be put out in the ecosystem and someone sees it. <laughs> That's my goal and then bring you guys that video. So comment down below any other like professional athletes, male, female, North American, around the world that you guys would like me to see and let's do that. And yeah, these are fun to do every once in a while and just challenge myself. So thank you for tuning in. Like always, it means the absolute world to me and most importantly, Go pet dog. Love you guys. Nothing says coming back from Vegas and your brain being fried, like forgetting your own outro. Have a great day. Go pet a dog. Emma, go drink some water. <laughs>